Now, if you have an event that is repeating within your mind, and this is affecting your mental well-being, then this video is for you. This is known as emotional pain. When something is associated to something within our past, the event that keeps repeating within our mind, that then brings out the same experiences, the same feelings, the emotions within our brain. And we do feel like we are reliving that event. Now, due to this, we begin to have a mind battle. Every time we think about this bad event, we have a battle running within our mind. And the more we try to push away this event within our mind, the more it comes at us. It doesn't come at us at the same level as it was before. Now, the intensity of it is greater when it comes back. Now, when this event is replaying within your mind over and over again, we feel that if we go to another place, somewhere that might, we might feel better, that might change things. But what we don't understand is whatever is going on, it's going within our minds. This emotional pain is only in your mind and in your mind only. It's nowhere else. So it doesn't really matter where you go. If you change anything in your life externally, it won't make any difference. Now you might be advised, go get a hobby, go get some new friends. You might be advised to do things that you don't normally do and don't get bored because that's mostly one of the one of the things that does occur it is one of the symptoms of emotional pain is boredom now every time you do try and go do this external thing your emotional pain won't go away it will still come up while you're doing that new thing while you're doing that activity no matter where you go externally it won't make any difference but when we understand our emotional pain on how it works on how it's linked to our memory, then things can change. Now, if you look at it, it's really nothing but our memory that is replaying consistently within our brain. That same event is nothing but our memory. So what we are trying to do at that time is we are trying to press delete on these bad memories that we have. And if I tell you the truth, that is not possible. We can't delete any sort of memory within our brain. And if it's good or bad, it doesn't really make a difference. Because how we see is as long as we wipe that memory of this bad event, then we won't need to suffer from any emotional pain anymore. The emotional pain is part of life as much as emotional happiness is. So if this has got all to do with your memories within your brain, and if we want this bad memory to be deleted, these events to be deleted from our brain, you are also deleting your identity. Because if you notice, when you wake up in the morning, you identify yourself. You remind yourself who you are. If you have a mental health condition, you would identify that to yourself, that I am suffering from this condition. Now, the minute you've identified yourself with that condition, that condition has become you. Your identity is you. Whoever you are in the past, whatever your memories are, that is you. You know, so that's how you've been made. Without these memories, there is no you. There is no identity of you. If you've done a course in university or worked for a certain period of time in a place and you've got to a stage where you've learned so much in that job, then that is your identity, that is your memory. Without that memory, you are no one, you are nothing. You can't identify yourself as anything. If you forget your name, if you forget that you are maybe a son, you can't identify yourself as a son. This memory is you. But what we normally see or try and say to ourselves that this memory isn't me. I don't want this in my life. You know, this that has happened within my life. I don't want it in my life anymore. But then do we not want the good memories either? Because whether they're good memories or bad, they are you. Now, try to fight something that is you is not possible. When we try to fight something that is not us, is possible so when we see these memories are not us and it's something totally different to us which ain't possible because that's your identity but we assume and we understand that no these memories are not us and the minute we've we feel that these memories are not us we start to fight with them and the more we fight with them the more they come back not just on that same intensity but greater Hey guys thank you for watching this video if you have come right to the end of this video i just want to thank you for watching the whole video now i'm trying my best every day to try and get information to help people on what they really need now yes i know what i i needed and i know what people might need but 
just on understanding on where people are at today and that's why I made this video because I noticed that a lot of people are having trouble in handling their emotional pain and that is something I had in trouble as well but yeah I am trying my best to get all the information on what people need out there and I am trying to get there as much as I can um, yes if you do have any questions or anything that you'd want me to put in my next videos then please put it down in the comments section until then my friends have a good life have a good year have a good day